give you a dribbling routine that you can do on your own time. And I'm also going to talk about the biggest mistake and my biggest pet peeve when I see people practicing dribbling. So start with the drills. We'll watch these. And obviously when you're doing these, yes, focus on the quality of your touches. But I also want you to focus on the quality of your movement, how you change direction. Really think about and analyze and feel how you change direction when you go from one direction to the other. For example, doing a cut. So really focus on your body movement as well as your touches. The other thing I'm going to say is just challenge yourself. If you're not losing the ball because you're trying to go faster, then you're not going to get anything out of the drill. You are going to lose possession. You're going to lose the ball sometimes. That means that you're pushing yourself and that you are trying to improve. Now, when that happens, do not get frustrated. Just keep yourself composed. Think about what you did incorrectly and practice and practice and keep practicing until you get the result that you want. I will send the better in one day soccer blueprint to anyone who comments hashtag soccer on this video. If you don't know about me, I used to be a huge underachiever, but through obsessive self-improvement, I found my success. Earned a college scholarship, played for my national futsal team, a YouTube channel with over 100 million views. I've helped players worldwide, and I'd love to help you improve faster and achieve more. Using those drills, here is a routine that you can do. For each of the drills, you're just gonna do 30 seconds of work. So you're gonna go for 30 seconds, going nice and fast, pushing yourself, focusing on the quality of your touches, focusing on the quality of your movement. If you lose possession, you just get the ball back and keep going for those 30 seconds. Now, after those 30 seconds are done, you're going to rest for 30 seconds. So really focus on your breathing, focus on keeping yourself calm, Focus on your recovery. Don't just stand there panting with your hands on your knees. Really focus on getting your heart rate down so you can go again. After those 30 seconds of rest are done, you're gonna go for another 30 seconds of work. You're gonna do that for three sets for each drill. The only one that is going to be different, and you'll see that one shortly, you already saw it in the first part of this video, is the figure eights. So for those, you're going to do four sets on each foot. So do one on your right foot, rest for 30 seconds focusing on your breathing and recovery then you'll do one if you want to improve faster and achieve more this season use the soccer success planner it's 100 percent free players all around the world have already used it to improve you can download it right now there's a link in the description below on on your left foot do that until you have four complete sets on each foot here i want to talk about maybe not the biggest mistake, but my biggest pet peeve when it comes to practicing dribbling. And I'm not really the biggest fan of cone dribbling. It's not something I do on my own time. Why? Because for me, it's not match realistic. Yes, it is a good way to improve your skills. You'll get more touches on the ball. It'll help you become better. If you're a beginner, maybe this is something you want to spend your time with. But I want you to ask yourself, is this realistic? Am I going to dribble like this in a game when defenders are trying to tackle me and I'm trying to keep possession of the ball or I'm trying to attack. So all the drills that I do for myself, 
I like to make them very match realistic. Even if I'm performing a cut, my movement still has to be realistic. Sprinting with the ball, quick change of direction, sprinting off in the other way, keeping good close control of the ball. So always ask yourself, is what I'm practicing today, whether that's dribbling, shooting, ball control, fitness, running, is this match realistic? Is this going to convert into my on-field performances? So obviously watching this video isn't going to make you a better dribbler. You actually have to put in the work. If you want a dribbling routine, this one is great and it will work for you. It'll help you improve your dribbling skills, your confidence on the ball and your touch in both feet. So do these eight exercises. Remember, you're going to do 30 seconds of work with 30 seconds of rest in between, focusing on the quality of your touches, but also the quality of your movement, the quality of your body's movement, how you change direction and focusing on your breathing, your rest, and your ability to recover faster between sets. From moving up divisions to making national teams, players who use the Online Soccer Academy get results. Access elite level coaching and training, become a complete player, make a difference on the field, and get noticed when you play. Limited spots available, apply today, start improving tomorrow, link in the description below.